What's good, YouTube? So today we're gonna be reacting to British customs and culture, just pretty much like their tradition and all that stuff. So let's not waste any time and let's get this started. Three, two, one, let's go. This is how like this is how British culture be, bro. So bowler hats, pointy umbrellas, Sunday roast, cups of tea, football, not soccer, quaint houses in sleepy villages, the royal family. Brits, they're more than just good old fish and chips. I got a question, Rain bro. Or shine. Do y'all actually be eating fish and chips like that? Like, I don't, like, is it actually, like, a thing? Fish and chips? Is that something you guys really, like, be, uh, like, eating and stuff? I don't, I don't know if it's, like, you know, whatever. And let's be honest, it's mostly rain. The Brits are famous for their obsession with the weather. It is almost always the first topic of conversation once the awkward daily greetings are done. It's either too cold or too hot, too wet. Is this true? Is this true? Y'all really, is that the first thing y'all talk about is the weather? It's too wind, too foggy. Is that true? Or is this dude die? Is he do, is this dude capping, bro? That's weird, bro. Too windy, too foggy. They famously take their holidays in the sunny Mediterranean only to uh, A, complain about the heat, Damn. sweat, and sunburn, and B, constantly check in on how the weather is back home. Nah, no There's way. There's no pleasing them. It is. No way y'all actually do that, bro. No way y'all just be complaining about everything, bro. Like, I'm not saying America's perfect. America is not perfect, bro. I think y'all know that, but like. That's crazy, bro. Y'all y'all complain about the weather that much, bro? That's wild. It's a myth, though, that they always carry an umbrella with them. In reality, it is usual for a household to own a cupboard full of umbrellas, but often risk a trip out without one, as it's annoying to carry your store. A cupboard full of shopping bags is also a very British tradition, by the way. Tea is considered the best drink of the day in Great Britain. Like coffee in the U.S., it kickstarts the morning for most people. And it is not unusual to consume between two and five cups, or cuppas as they're affectionately known here, per day. In times of fatigue, comfort, stress, or celebration, you will hear the flick of the kettle go. In fact... 100 million cups of tea are drunk per day in the UK. That's a rough. Bro, what? Why do y'all like tea that much? I like I've tried out tea before, but I do not like it at all. Like it's like it's nasty, and from my opinion, but y'all like tea that much, bro? Y'all a hundred? What? What do you say? A hundred million cups? Yo, do y'all know how much a hundred million cups is, bro? Or just like a hundred million of everything? Like, you know how much a million is in general, bro? Imagine a hundred million cups. Yo, that is insane. Wait, hold up. Per day? I thought it was per year, bro. Per day? No. No way. No way y'all do that. And 36 billion billion per year. Bro, oh, what? Per year. <laughs> no way. Don't be surprised to see... Biscuits being dunked in the tea. Hey, I dunk biscuits in y'all tea. I don't know. Very British custom. With pubs and beer houses being such a huge part of British life, it goes without saying that beer is the number one alcoholic I mean, drink of choice. Oh. I mean, in like the U.S., beer is always like y'all drink beer. I mean, we drink beer here too, so I don't think it's gonna be like that. Wow. Perfect poured pint of beer is the highlight of most working men's weekends. Statistics show British women prefer wine or cocktails. And it's that's like, that's basic, that's basic. With one of like, the it's nothing crazy. Dishes. Roast beef, bangers and mash, mm. sausage and mashed potato, or fish and chips. All right, okay, okay. I want to talk about this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let's just go back. Or fish and All right, so be honest. Do y'all actually eat these like as people say? Like, okay, I'm going to say this right here. This one, this first is sausage and whatever, don't look that good. This roast beef looks all right, but the best one probably looks the fish and chips. 
But do y'all really be in it like that, or is this dude just lying, bro? Yeah, I mean, y'all tell me, y'all be honest, y'all, y'all from there, so I'm assuming y'all going, you know, y'all, y'all, y'all know what y'all talking about. You feel me? But I don't know, y'all, y'all comment that, comment that down below. Yo, what's going on? Right, chips, gravy sauce is almost always offered with every dish. Again, it is a myth that most households cook a Sunday roast every single weekend or enjoy oh, wait, afternoon it's a tea most days. Once in a while, maybe. But just like sushi in Japan, it happens less than you would imagine. Turkey at Christmas, though, that is completely non-negotiable. Tur I mean, also a very... Turkey at Christmas, that doesn't really sound that bad. I think I like we do it over here too. Like, no, that's not bad. British way of life. Despite their constant whining about being stuck in line, whether it be traffic or in person, the Brits are famous for waiting their turn and are huge advocates for the first come, first served motto. Okay, and I mean, just try pushing in one of these lines though. And you will quickly learn the rest. I mean, that's just like respect, bread. bro. That's not even. I, that's actually like. Approximately. That's actually like pretty good. That's just respect, bro. I feel like in the U.S. you would do that, bro. You would probably get pushed, because people here in the U.S. are kind of. I don't know, bro. There's something wrong with these people, bro. I'm not saying like U.S. is the worst place, but you know, we ain't perfect. I'll just say that we we not perfect. Like I'll give you that, bro. Two hundred and fifty thousand people and. At its longest, a queuing time of over 24 hours to pay tribute to Queen Elizabeth wow. II after her passing. Admittedly, a historical moment, but this just goes to show how determined the population is when it's something they deeply care about. Wow. The royal family, a national treasure or a financial wow. burden? That's crazy. Well, it depends who you ask, but the monarchy is over 1,000 years old. And therefore, steeped in okay, history. Look. Around That's actually really cool what y'all have about the monarchy and like the the history with the families and all that. That's really cool, bro. It's something I've always been interested in. I, like I always wondered like like how it started and all that stuff. And that's actually, like yeah, over a thousand years old, bro. That's actually really cool what y'all have. Like that's that's fire. Like here we don't really got uh no, we we got presidents, but like like a monarchy, a family, bro. Like a family tree. That was really cool, bro. Like I, I'll give that to y'all. I'm not gonna lie. Fifty percent of Brits are proud of the royal family and feel patriotic whenever yeah, they are mentioned or displayed. Of course, that also means fifty percent are not so keen, bro. and there is often talk of abolishing the monarchy. For now, King Charles the Third plays his part and holds the flag high whilst he represents his people. He is also a big tea lover, apparently. So, get that kettle on then, Camilla. Rule Britannia. Say? Oh, crap. Right. I mean, it was, a, it was a cool little video. Learn about, like, the English culture and all that, man. But look, that was the end of the video. It was a, yeah, like what I was saying. It was a nice video, bro. I, learned, I like learning about other, uh, whoa, bro. I like learning about other cultures and all that. It's like, it's really cool to me, you know, knowing that there's other stuff to explore, man. But look, enough with the talking. I hope y'all boys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you go like, subscribe, comment what you want me to react to next. I am going to be gone on break. Actually, no, 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 I'm lying. I'm, I'm going to be back on time. Yeah, I'm going to be back on time. So comment what you want me to react to. You know, see y'all boys in the next video. Peace.